Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I got another Castles video here for you, and we are talking about the Explorers Guild. I don't know if you saw my last video, the AMA video, uh, where the team was talking about the, the their favorite NFT and their favorite wonder that was coming up. And they kept stressing that the Explorers Guild was their favorite, and there's a number of reasons why. They've released the details today. I'm excited to go through those, and there's some some neat things, some uh, some sneak peeks, I guess we could say. And then also, uh, I wanted to cover a few other things along those lines with a lumberjack sale coming up. I uh, shouldn't say sale, the lumberjack crafting event uh, coming up. There's a lot to unpack in this. Um, so I hope you all had a chance to take a look at the medium paper. If you don't, I'll, I'll address everything on this this video, hopefully 10 minutes or less. So let's go ahead and dive in there. Before we talk about the Explorers Guild, let's talk about the, the Lumberjack crafting event that's, kick, that's kicking off here in a few hours. The Lumberjack event uh, is where you go ahead and craft your Lumberjack. You need 100 M source tokens and two seals. I have a whole video about the crafting events. Check that out. Um, they announced that there is going to be a raffle that goes along with it. So every single time that you craft a lumberjack, you get a point. So if you craft one lumberjack, you get one. If you craft a hundred, you get a hundred points. And those points will give you entries into a raffle that allows you to win these awesome prizes. And I'm telling you, these are some crazy prizes. Um, you have the land prizes at the bottom, which are, are the most. Even one of these lands, the farm, they're going for like 35, 40 wax. And they're giving away 243 of those. Going up the list, uh, they're giving a lumberjack away, which if you have one and you get another one, a, you can use it to get more lumber. Um, or you can sell it, do what you want to do with it. Barons, these suckers are going for thousands of dollars. Dollars, not wax thousands of dollars. So they're giving away Baron, the number one mint one, and they're giving away castles. And even they're going to even give away a number of packs. If you take a look at the bankers pack, just recently took a look at that. It's almost 900 wax for one pack because they're getting really low on them. There's not many of those available. So the prizes here, there's a lot of them. Um, it's totally worth it. Even if you just do one entry, if you do a hundred entries, obviously you have a better chance of getting them. Um, definitely check out it's it's a really cool event i again made a whole video on the crafting the wonders i think it's an awesome addition to a game that i wish more games would do uh keeps it all in house you're not going through secondary market you're not trying to fight bots or trying to be the fast one and fastest one in there you can earn the stuff in games it creates a burning mechanism that you know i love even though it's painful um, and you keep it all in house because you're paying with the m source and then it leads to the next event and next event. And now you have raffles that go along with it. All right, I'll stop on that. So let's go ahead and jump to what this <laughs> video is actually supposed to be about. Uh, we are talking about, where is it? The Explorers Guild. All right, they announced all the details of this. This doesn't go on until the end of May. So we have some time and it goes along with all of the other crafting events that we've already talked about, where you go through the lumberjack, then you craft the carpenter and then use the, the lumberjack and carpenters, uh, the lumber and the, the fine fine wood to create the different wonders, um, including this Explorers Guild. So this is the fourth of the, the many limited time events and it kicks off the, uh, a major event called the Land Rush event. And the neat thing about this, this Land Rush event means that you can craft your own land packs. They're going to be introducing two different land packs. One, the Explorers pack, which gives you two, two pieces of land, and then the Seafarers pack that gives you four pieces of land. They have not identified the cost of crafting these, but they did say it's going to be a combination of fine wood, which comes from your carpenter, a previous crafting event, and your seals that you either buy on um, uh, nefty or you buy in game and, and when i say in game you buy right here in game um, and the neat thing about this is if you happen to uh, be involved in all of the crafting events you went ahead and got the the wonder the the one that gives you 50 percent of the seals this is 
by by crafting these packs, you are burning seals. And if you have that wonder, you're also getting profit from the people buying it. So that it just it all stacks on top of each other. Side tangent, but I think it's definitely worth uh, knowing about or thinking about. Um, each of the packs come with different rarities. Like I guess said the uh, the explorers comes with two pieces of land. Most likely you'll get a farm. There's 85% of that. Um, you can also get ranch and village. But even if you get two farms, uh, you can blend them up and have a chance of getting the bonus. There's there's a lot to, that goes along with it. And if you combine this with a baron, which I still have to get, I, I, I'm trying to get it. It's just they're expensive right now. So so I'm really hoping to get a baron here soon for the April 1st sale. Uh, but if you combine the baron with these explorer packs, you're just stacking and stacking and stacking the lands, which also stacks the M source. And their goal, scrolling back up, is they want to have minted as part of this land rush 500,000 farms. And the nice thing about that is you would think you're adding 500,000 M source producing NFTs, you're just going to drop the value of M source. But that is not correct. Because the burning mechanisms that go along with these crafting items, you're burning as much as you're earning, and you're still getting more and more land. Um, so the value at times may go down, at times will go up, depending on the events that are going on. But it's it, it's a neat it's a neat process that's coming up here. And then for the seafarers pack, you have a chance of getting a town in these. So you will get four NFTs, four four lands, uh, and you could range anywhere from a farm, which is going to be the majority of them. Uh, ranch, village, and towns. And last I checked, towns are going for in the, the 775 wax range. So it's it's a pretty good deal. And again, they, they reiterate there, they are trying to get to 500,000 farms minted. Um, and as, they, as we mint more, there's a whole table in the white papers. As you mint more, when you blend, the cost of blend goes higher and higher and higher. So, so it's in turn, creating uh, what they call a soft cap on the castles because there's going to be a point where to blend a castle is going to be extremely expensive again good burning mechanism good way to limit as many castles as you can have in the game the other neat thing about this event is they're introducing a new token called rune source rune source is going to be used when they do the de uh, dungeon expansion like in the ama last ama they talked about a lot and they didn't talk a lot in detail about the, the expansion. They gave a lot of hints for the dungeon. So this is going to be one of those things that's used in there. They, they mentioned it's earning premium assets. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. But obviously, the more tokens you have, the more rune source tokens you have, the more chance you have at premium assets. Um, in order to get these, there's several ways to get these rune source tokens. Uh, first is through the, the, the packs that you create, the Explorer packs and the Seafarer packs. For every Explorer pack you get or you craft, you're going to get 1,000 Rune Source tokens. For every Seafarer, you're going to get 2,000 Rune Source tokens. So these will add up the more and more that you, you craft of these packs. Um, the other way you can get the, the Rune Source is by crafting one of the Explorer Bounties. All right, Explorer Guild Bounties. This is the, the crafting event that's gonna happen. And they haven't determined how many rune sources that you're gonna get per day, but you can, it's, you're gonna be earning the rune source passively if you have this. You can claim it every 24 hours. It accumulates up to three and a half days. Uh, anything beyond that three and a half days, just so you're aware, does get the trash. So you, you don't get anything past that. So make sure that you are uh, get harvesting this or grabbing this every three and a half days. So there's multiple ways to get this rune source. And as they mentioned several times, this goes uh, directly for the dungeon expansion. Um, so more to come on that. Um, the Royal Courthouse is the other wonder that for some reason I was blanking on earlier. That's the one that gives you 50% of the, the wax sales for the, the Royal Seals. So it makes sense to craft every single type of, of element um, or every event that comes. Like I said, the lumberjack starts off here in a few hours. That's going to create logs for you. Logs are used for the carpenter that creates fine wood. 
and the fine wood creates your royal courthouse, creates your explorer's guild, and is also used to create these packs. So it's very important to have a number of carpenters and a number of lumberjacks to feed each other so you can continue to create this. You can also buy these elements on the secondary market. So if you want to spend wax to get them, that's an option. This is just the, the way it's designed. This is the, the better way, I believe, to do it because it's all organic and it's all within the game. All right, let me jump over because uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you that's in the white paper. They did go through and they updated the white paper to show you all the details. It shows you a full list of everything that happens uh, if you go ahead and do the, the Explorers Guild. Um, but the one thing I wanted to show you is down here when you're crafting the packs, um, it shows a little table here. The one thing that you keep in mind is the crafting time. It's not instant. If you just do a regular craft, it takes two days for the Explorers pack. It takes four days uh, for the Seafarer pack. They mentioned that there are speed ups for crafting. So if you, I'm assuming if you have castles and you're producing the, the Royal Seals, uh, this is great for you. I don't have any castles yet, yet I will get one though. Um, so I just want to make sure that you're aware. Again, it shows you the reward for every pack you craft. Um, the bounty, um, not 100% sure on that uh, as far as that goes, but I wanted to mention that uh, you can craft as many packs. As of right now, you can craft as many packs as you want at a time. So if you want to craft 100 Explorer packs, you don't have to do one at a time like a lot of things make you do. You can do all 100, wait two hours, I'm sorry, two days, two days, and you get the the packs. They said they may put a limit on that at some point, um, but the plan right now is to have it at, at unlimited packs at one time. The only reason that they would put a limit on it is if it's putting too stress, too much stress on the contract or uh, the blockchain contract. Um, if that's putting too much stress on there, they might put a limit on there, and it's not necessarily because they want to limit you. It's because they want to make sure that they provide the best gaming experience to everybody. All right. I hope you all like this. This this is a fun event. Um, I've said it several times. I've said it in previous videos. I really like the limited time crafting events, especially because because they stack on each other. As I'm, I'm definitely going to be grabbing at, at least two lumberjacks here in the very near future. Um, I would love to get more. I just need to get more lands too. Um, which will in turn allow me to get uh, two, at least two, maybe three carpenters. Um, and that'll give me enough production to be able to get the, the courthouse, get the, the this guild, uh, the Explorer Guild, and also get packs in the future. So lots of fun things. Uh, check it out there. I'll, I'll go ahead in the link put, uh, I'm sorry, in the description, put a link to the, the Medium uh, guide that they had put together. And we'll definitely be doing uh, videos in the future on actually making these craftings. I'll be doing a, a video here shortly, probably dropping on Saturday, uh, crafting some lumberjacks and moving forward with that. So I hope you all like this. I hope you subscribe. Have a great day and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you all.